There's a, a large number, probably the most advanced in combination with anti-PD-1 or anti-PD-L1 or the anti-CTLA-4s. And there are two of those, there's tremulimumab and ipilimumab, and each of them have been combined with either anti-PD-1 or anti-PD-L1. The randomized trials are ongoing now, so it's uh, not uh, proven yet that the combinations uh, will be uh, produce any more efficacy than uh, monotherapy, but the early trials, which were fairly large uh, ex expanded cohort trials with the combinations are look uh, very, very promising. Beyond that, there's a whole pipeline of different immunotherapeutics that are being tested by themselves or in combination. And therein lies also the challenge. Uh, there is such a large number of different immunotherapeutics out there and there's such heterogeneity among patients, let alone uh, across different uh, cancers. And there is, you know, a, 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 a extremely large number, of course, of then combinations. So the question becomes, how do you test all of the combinations? Well, it's just not possible. So there needs to be uh, the uh, development of better biomarkers that, uh, that allow for the more rational and logical development of these combinations and the selection of the patients who would properly receive the drugs that they would derive the benefit from.